what is up you guys it's your girl angel sky coming at you in my dirty bedroom trying to get everything situated tired we spent all day at the pool today but today we're gonna do a little story time of the incident that we had getting our new addition to the family i told you guys i was gonna tell you about the story First, I needed to like woo saw it out that night because it was way too much to handle. My anxiety was through the roof. It was just like too much. So my daughter has always wanted a bunny. She has been begging me for like over a year to have a bunny. So I finally said, you know what? Cool. Let's get a bunny, right? We've been through a lot lately. I want to have something that will you know it'll make her happy it'll give her something to take care of so she's 17 so i told her you know what you need to start to do things independently by yourself without having your mom do it for you so you do the research you find the bunny you know here's your budget and then we'll go from there cool so she comes up to me mom you know i found the bunny i want it's so cute i want to go get it i want to go look at it I said, okay, cool, you know, like, let's, when, when can we go? She's like, well, you know, they said we can look at it. She told me that it was in, by Fredericksburg, Virginia, okay? We are right by Washington, D.C., like five minutes away from D.C., okay? So, we drive all the way down, and I pass Fredericksburg. I'm like, honey, what's going on? Because you said it was by Fredericksburg. We pass Fredericksburg. I'm looking at my GPS and we still have like 40 minutes to go. So this is not by Fredericksburg at all. It's way past Fredericksburg. So I look at the address and it's saying Mineral, Virginia. Number one, I've never even heard that in my life before. I don't know where it is. I don't know what's happening. We just keep driving and driving and driving and driving an hour and 40 minutes away for a bunny. We drove an hour and 40 minutes away for a bunny. They kept like, you know, talking back and forth. She was like, all right, well, let me know when you guys are like five minutes away. We get there just as we pull up that like that warning goes off or whatever. You know, it's like beep. The radio goes crazy. It's like tornado storms in mineral Virginia, severe hail, torrential downpours. I'm like, yo, isn't this mineral virginia like are you serious right now did you really put us like this is really happening right now go into the storm like it's crazy the winds are blowing trees are flying down hail is coming down crazy storm right i get there i turn onto the street and then the gps tells me to make a right the right was a dirt road that number one didn't have a sign on it Number two, when I'm saying dirt road, I don't mean like a normal dirt road. I mean like nobody has driven down it. Like the paths are like cleared up. I'm like, they clearly don't have a car because nobody is driving in and out of this area. Like, where are you taking us, Angela? What is happening right now? Like, I'm shook because I keep on going and we are still three miles away from their house after I just turned on a dirt road problem there is nowhere to turn around literally when I tell you there's nowhere to turn around it's like number one nobody else can get past us and number two there's nowhere to turn around and there's like if if there was another car coming like this I don't even know what we would do because there's no like we are in the at this point we're in the middle of the woods like there's woods woods dirt road and it's not even really a dirt road because there's rocks there's debris there's broken down washer and dryers there's broken down trucks that like i'm telling you it's like Ch texas chainsaw massacre type thing back here and i'm like yo god i have my five children not one not two not three not four but five kids all my kids are with me i'm alone in the car by myself my husband's not there my kids are in the back this is a setup like there's no way this is a setup like they are they like they could come around the car they could swarm us like you don't understand i was so shook we started passing signs like 
no trespassing, will shoot and ask questions later. Like these are the signs that we're passing. Hunting season, bear season, will shoot on sight. I'm like, oh my gosh, dude, what, like, what are we, what are we doing? What are we doing? My heart starts pounding because by this time we are miles into the woods. I'm not talking about like, it's right back there. I'm talking about we are miles into the woods and the further we go into the woods, the less that there's like even road to travel on. I was like, you know what? Cut it. We're done. Can't do it. I don't know what else to do at this point because I'm not going any further. Like once it got me to a point and it told me to make a right, what I'm telling you is that was woods. There was no trail anymore. There was no signs. There was nothing. It was just dead woods to the right. I'm, and I looked, I'm like, nope. I was so mad at this point. I'm trying to calm down because I just feel like at any minute we're going to get bum rushed. You know, like seven dudes are going to jump on my car. We're going to get like raped and robbed and shot and killed. And my kids are in the back. Like all I keep thinking is like worst case scenario in the back of my head. I'm shook. I am scared. I'm fearful for my life and my children's life. I don't know what's going to happen. I don't know what these people like have in store for us. I don't even know where I am at this point. My phone is about to die. I tell you, I think I had like 15% battery left on my phone. So I have to get back home an hour and 40 minutes because it's an hour and 40 minutes one way, not round trip, one way. I still got to get an hour and 40 minutes back home and I need my GPS. What am I going to do? I'm like, I can't do this, Angel. I'm sorry. Like, I know you wanted this bunny. I know you had your heart set on this bunny, but what are we supposed to do? Get jumped and killed in the woods? Like, this is some Nancy Grace stuff right here. Like, I'm not even joking. I'm not playing. I was shook. I was terrified. I was praying to God the whole time we were in the back of those woods. So I'm like, yeah, we got to go. I turn around. Look, it was like, um, Austin Powers you know how he backs up and then goes up and then backs up and then that was literally me trying to like make a complete u-turn in the middle of the woods because there was nowhere else to go like there wasn't anywhere to turn around it's just like woods a street that's it so I'm like slowly trying to like back up go back up go back up go in my big truck I finally got out of there and when I'm telling you I hauled ass out of there I'm telling you I hauled ass out of there like once I made up my my mind to not go to not get this bunny even though I was hella mad that we traveled we traveled an hour and 40 minutes to go get a bunny that we're not even gonna get I was mad I back up I leave I'm like that's it no go can't do it sorry let's go to Petco let's go you know anywhere but I'm not doing this right now because I don't want to die today like today is not that day where I want to die I don't want my kids to die I want to live a happy life is that too much to ask so we get out and my daughter's you know has a mean mug on she's like mom I'm mad I want I wanted this rabbit I'm like okay we traveled an hour and 40 minutes Call them and tell them if they want to sell this bunny, meet us at the gas station. There's literally a gas station right next to your house. Meet us with the bunny. We'll take it. We're not going to look at it. We're not going to talk about it. We'll take the bunny. That's it. Like, I'm not playing any games. I just want the bunny. I want to go. So she called and they're like all talking in the background. They're like, no, no, no. We don't want to meet at the gas station. I'm like, okay, why not? Like... It's right down the street from you. Um, I'm like, well, I can't find your house. Lie. Don't care. Wasn't going back there. So I told him, I can't find your house. I kept trying and I kept trying. I kept driving. I can't find your house. So I'm not going back on that dirt road. I said, the only thing that I will do is I will meet you at the top of your dirt road. Other than that, I'm not going back there. Like civilization is kind of around the start to the dirt road. So that's what I'm going to do. I'll meet you there. That's it. Right. We go all the way back. I'm like, oh man, like I swear guys, I am terrified. Like I don't know what's going on. I don't know what's happening. All I could think of, you are the dumbest person in life. Like, this is a Craigslist person. You don't know who they are. You're about to meet them in the woods. Like, can you get your life together? You didn't think about this beforehand. 
I just didn't know where we were going and I shouldn't have, you know, had my 17 year old daughter set this whole thing up. I should have done it. So I would have known I would have spoke to them because she hadn't even spoken to them. Everything was through email. We turn around. I go back, right? I said, this is what we're going to do. I am going to go get the bunny. You are not going to look at the bunny until after I purchase the bunny. Okay. You are going to stay in the car with the kids, with the door locked. You are going to sit in the driver's side. And if anything happens, you are to oh. just leave. I don't care what happens to me. It, that's not your problem. That's not your concern. I will be okay regardless. I need you to drive me, you and my kids out of here. Period. Like I was so scared by that time. I'm like, I don't know what hap what's happening. I don't know what's going on. But I need my kids to be okay. At least have my kids be okay. I lived a great life. They can just, you know, be okay. So I said, lock the doors. I'm going to wait on this corner with my little cubby bin I had. I'm like, if you see some funny business, just go. You know how to drive, just go, leave me. Call the ambulance and tell them where I'm at, but leave me. That's how scared I was. I got out, I stood at the corner. A couple cars came by, looked at me like, what is this girl doing on like the side of the street with the bin? I was getting real crazy looks, right? Long story short, everything was fine they pulled up they had the bunny in the trunk um it is a eight week female black and white bunny she is so adorable my daughter decided to name her Panyo. um we've had her for a couple of days she's a very good bunny all in all drove an hour and 40 minutes one way so that's like almost four hours of driving for one little baby bunny but She's a part of our family. I told you about it in my last vlog. I will try to insert a video or at least a picture of her so you can see her because she's super cute. So yeah, we're excited to have her. She is adorable. She loves to eat like bananas and apples and lettuce. My daughter's gonna try to have her on a pellet-free diet. So that's it. That's the new addition to our family. That is my crazy story, you guys. I love you guys so much. Thank you for all your love and support. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.